Hi friends, good evening. My name is Gwendolyn Song and I'm an end time messenger for the King of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. That is King Jesus, King Yeshua HaMashiach. And he has asked my spouse, Seho and I, to take on a very special mission for him. And that is to announce his glorious coming to all of the earth. To let people know what they have to do to prepare for his coming. And then also to release prophetic messages from him at the end of the church era. I am only one of the messengers in the army of the Lord. There are many of us, and we are all honored to do this service for our friend and our king. Now, I received this prophetic word entitled, The Truth Behind Trump's Wall, on January 9th, 2019. To my dearest children living in the USA, who are debating the significance of the border wall between the USA and Mexico, to those of my children who are in agreement of the need for a wall, and to those of my children who have no desire for a wall to be built at all, this throne room correspondence is for you. Children, I have sent my holy messengers out with very similar warnings to the children of God to repent and humble yourselves before me. I have warned and warned and warned of the ramifications of hardened hearts and of murdering the unborn. Your sins have grieved the heart of your Creator, and my wrath will come at a time that you do not know. Please, dearest children, open up your hearts and confess your sins before me, before you have no time left. I am a merciful king, and I am a king who does not tolerate violence and bloodshed. I want my children to live in peace and harmony, but that era will not happen until I come back to the earth and set the captives free. I will set both of my nail-scarred feet down upon the Mount of Olives and rightfully take back what belongs to me. I will begin to bring order and beauty out of the chaos from the enemy's five minutes of fame. His time is short indeed, and eventually he will be sent directly to the lake of fire at the conclusion of the millennial reign, where he will be tormented forever and ever. New living waters will run to and fro across the earth, and the sun of righteousness will come down with healing in his wings. You will see a new day begin and the end of the horrors of the tribulation era. Alas, you will see me riding on a white horse called love and peace and millions of angels will accompany me. Look forward to this day, dearest ones. Look forward to it and even ask me to show you snippets of it in your dreams. I love to answer the petitions of my holy children. Dearest ones, there will be a wall built, whether you like it or not. It is a plan of the fallen ones. It has the signature of the first and the second beast, and it will be a wall of hatred against the last Christian nation on the earth, my beloved United States of America. I have many harvest workers within the USA. Many of my generals and foot soldiers and the Antichrist wants to eliminate them before he gets on with his plans. The problem with his plans is that there is no stopping the plans of the King of Glory. The beast envisions a wall so high and so ferocious that my holy ones would be stopped from preaching the gospel all across the globe. He would love to place them in concentration camps and prevent them from tearing down the gates of hell. The gates of hell will not prevail against my holy ones. They will do what they were created to do, and that is to bring in the final harvest at a very dark time. Again, dearest ones, nothing or no one can stop the mighty move of the master's hand. 
I will send my 144,000 sealed servants across the earth during the tribulation period, and they will be setting the captives free. They will climb any wall that has been placed before them, and they will walk right into the death camps and preach the message of repentance as the unrepentant decide whether or not to take the mark of the beast. I have shown many of my children in dreams, the 144,000 walking through doors, climbing walls, and disappearing in large crowds only to be found moving at rapid speeds to witness to those who call on the name of the Lord. I have been training them and I will continue to teach them through the personal attacks on their own lives right now. They are not quite ready to assume their battle positions yet. I am polishing them and reminding them how high the stakes are for this end times battle. They will march to the beat of their Savior's heart. They will seem, sing the same song and they will love even their worst enemies. It will happen, dearest ones. It will because I am not a man that I should lie. What I have spoken to my prophets will surely come to pass, and it will come to pass at record speed. Children, pray for the lost more than ever now. Pray for me to continue to work through the legislative process in your country. There is no obstacle too great for your king. I have angels all over the Pentagon and the White House, and I will send even more in the days ahead. My Holy Spirit is convicting, and my army of intercessors are making strides for the salvation of the lost and downtrodden. Do not give up now, dearest ones. I am counting on you to do your individual best. Never drop the flag of redemption while you are fighting in prayer. Hold it up high and sing to your heart's delight. I love you all so very much. I gave my all for you, and I am asking you to pick up your swords, my holy word, and fight, 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 fight. And if I wake you up at 2 a.m., get up and fight some more for those who my precious Holy Spirit places on your heart. I am calling all of my warriors to put on the breastplate of righteousness and use the tools in my holy word and fight. Lovingly, Lord Yeshua, the commander-in-chief of the harvest. Amen.